When we think about how atoms interact, we have to think about the interactions between both their nuclei and their electrons. As I move this one hydrogen atom closer to the other, we can see that at one point they start to attract. If I were to try to move them closer, they would repel. The position where they are attracting at a maximum is the potential energy well. It corresponds to the uh, covalent bond. In the covalent bonded position, the two nuclei are attracting the electrons, and it's that attraction between them that's holding them together. We can get a better feeling of the potential energy associated with a bond by looking at the potential energy diagram here as we move one atom closer to the other. At a certain point, they'll actually begin to attract each other. Potential energy goes negative. As they come too close, now they'll start to repel each other. If I let, it, if I let go, the two atoms will come to a position that represents the lowest potential energy between them. That's the bond length. At this position, the atoms are stably linked to each other, and the electrons are shared between the two nuclei. You'll note that the bond potential energy of the bonded atoms is lower than the potential energy of the atoms before they were bonded. The bonded state is always more stable than the isolated atoms are alone.